Hello everybody, I'm here to introduce you for my final project CS50X from Harvard University. So let me go ahead and show what I made. I built a new language with C and its name is Moon, just for hobby, it, it isn't a serious language. So what is Moon? Moon is a language written in C Gradient 2020 by Paul Enrique, that it's me, just for hobby and improve his knowledge. So I made this language just for improve my my knowledge and my skills on C. So I've been studying on CS50X for a long time, studying about memory. So after that, I started looking for lectures and parsers, and I figured how could I create my own language because I I looking for it on Google. So I saw there is a lot of topics about it. Example is lexer and parsers. So I started studying about it. Okay, how works? For a language can run successfully, it needs to pass by three steps. Lexer, parser, and interrupter. Uh, let me go ahead and then show step by step. Okay, lexer. Lexer is the first step. It will read the line until find the same column. And it will read chart by chart, generation tokens for each chart. Example, uh, each chart is going to get a token. Token is a kind of dictionary for a person to understand what is happening in the line. Example, a token will give the name and the chart typo and what is happening with the tar and whatever. And now you can see what token happens when it's generated. So we pass the input and input we generate the token from the lexer. Example string and the plus on colon character. So the token pass to the parser. So I have to contact your plus some values and evaluate some strings, you know. And it is what happens. Parser reorganize each token and elevate the code chart by chart to do something with that code. Example print hello plus word. So it will take the print and start as a function and store hello plus word as a value. So with this in mind, you call interpret to pass functions and values. Parser reorganize each token and elevate the code chart by chart to do something with that code. Example, print hello plus word. So it will take the print and store as a function and store hello plus word. So David Mallon says all the code will be zeros and ones after compilers. So if each chart will be converted to zeros and ones, what happens if no reallocated memory for each line that lacks like real read? So this is what happens when you say print hello, print hi, the memory will compact the memory and this is not clear the, the array so this is what happens okay what should i have to do you have to put mem set okay you have to mem set the line code array and put zeros with the size of memory child and code so what mem set will do this line will set the first num to bytes of the block of memory pointed by ptr to the respective value so when you put hello and another another line will on the lexer, the line the line array will be clear and put hi, do you know? Okay, after how can I store variables on my language? It's easily. Here I made a kind of node graph you are you are looking at. Type the abstract node string, turn name into pointer and value. So I can store the variables pointer, the value, and store the name. When I want the value, I can look for the name and a pointer from the value, so I can get the value, you know? It's a little weird, but you can understand if you're looking for node graphs on Google. Okay, so after, what the interpreter will do? The interpreter will interpret the values and the function that the parser got. Example. We need to pass two values to interpret to run our code among them there are value and a function. Let me go ahead to the next uh, slide. Okay, here the interpreter hello that is the values and print that is the function. 
So we need to another dictionary that will inform the interpreter what function we need to call from the native C to run our values. Example print that I made. Print will call function print f from C. And after that, print f percent s to strings percent s values. Values is from the interpreter code. Do you know?